Well, it's a lazy man's guitar with old brother JT. It's good enough. Hi, I'm Brother JT, and it's a lazy man's guitar. Now you might be asking yourselves, why lazy? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm a lazy man, and I'm not ashamed. Laziness is actually a time-honored state of mind, very similar to some of your Eastern religions. Why, the last time someone called me lazy, I said, no, I'm just a Taoist. He scowled and went back to his meaningless day job, and I took a nap. Another advantage of laziness is in storing potential energy for possible emergencies, like when that puma comes out from behind the rock, and the industrious antelope next to you who's been working on spreadsheets all day, well, he's going down. But you, you did nothing. So you have that extra burst of speed to scoot off into the hills and back to your gazelle house in the country. Don't let the puma get you. Embrace laziness. That's a Brother J tip. First one's for free. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. But now, why guitar? Well, let me explain. But first, a little history. Now the guitar as we know it was invented sometime in the 1500s by a man named Frank Guitar, who lived in Maple Shade, New Jersey. And he was a high school loser, never made it with the ladies, till he invented this long-necked stringed instrument. And then after that, from what I've heard, he was knee-deep in the joy. <laughs> and by the way, it still kind of works today. <laughs> okay, let's get you started on the road to power. The Brother JT way. What do I mean by power? Well, this is a power chord. Not an impotence chord, a power chord. It goes pow. And I just made you a little less uptight, Clyde. You're welcome. But let's go from major to minor. Yeah. Feel a little, a little sad maybe, a little vulnerable. Everybody hurts. In need of comfort? Let's do a major seventh. Ah, oh, now you're on a tropical island with a mimosa. Guitar makes me a kind of magic man, baby. Very similar to Jesus, only I'm all too real. Just kidding. I gotcha. Now you're going to need a guitar. It really doesn't matter what kind. Why don't you get a cheap one so you won't be sad when you break it? As long as it's electric, you don't want an acoustic. They are not loud, and the strings hurt your fingers. Let's just leave them to the open mic people, okay? You'll also need an amplifier and a chord to make you have power. Get to know your guitar. Slide your hand up and down the neck. Feels right. Now strum it a little. Sounds nice, but a little formless. You're going to have to get this hand involved. Now you notice I have short, stubby, peasant-like fingers, if you will. Unlike your rock gods like Jimi Hendrix or Jimmy Page or Jimmy Johns, who all had long, bony, monstrous claw fingers with which to play their pointless arpeggios and penne regate. But in fact, short, sausage-like appendages actually come in handy in the garage rock realm because you can mash one finger over several strings at the same time. Now that's efficiency but allow me to demonstrate. So, I'm going to use a finger, this finger, to hold down two strings on the second fret, fifth and fourth strings, and then we're gonna use the index finger to hold down the third string on the first fret. And what do you get? You get the E major, the chord of heaven, because every time you play it, the saints have to cry. It's in their rule book. Now you want to make this major a minor? Well, all you have to do is remove this finger, keep these where they are, and you get... Sad. Because Becky, Becky's going back to college in the fall, and Bobby's there, 
and it's cloudy a lot lately and these meds aren't working. Isn't this fun? Let's move it over one string. So we leave these two strings open, lamb this finger again across three strings, leave the last string open. You got the A major. <laughs> See what I mean? It is all related. There's some kind of holy mass thing going on here that I don't even want to understand because it's scary. But let me get down to it now. Now let's go from E to A. Do you see how simple it is? I'm just moving this finger. They're called relative chords because they're relatively fantastic together. Several bands have based their entire careers on these two chords. And they get in the groove. Let's get groovy now. Groovy. This is what we call a groove pocket. Chillin'. And then you rock it in your chair until you go to a chance and then a, a golden archway appears elves will come out and beckon you in and tell you what to do tell you what to do this is all you really need to know there's other episodes but this is it this is it. this is this is it yeah Cause I got a thing A thing what's in my house I call it Sunny Jim We like to eat ringdings And crush up the silver foil Into little balls I got me a Charlie horse Charlie horse in my soul I'm gonna ride that horse Ride him into the sun Eating Slim Jims And Ring Dings hey. And Ring Dings And Ring Dings do this for three days, then call me and we'll talk about it.